I think the biggest difference for me as a freshman to me as a senior is that I kind of went from being Kinsey Vetter to now being Coach Vetter's daughter. Uh, one difference between me as a senior and me as a freshman is I would say that I'm a much more relaxed person now. Um, I really haven't changed that much though. I'm, I think I have like seven inches on freshman year me. So. Well, I would say the difference is that I am more outgoing. Uh, I used to be really shy and my work ethic has improved a lot. The difference between me now as a senior and me as a freshman is that I study more, I manage my time better, and I get a lot less sleep. The difference between me as a senior and me as a freshman is that I'm much more wise and confident about my decisions, but I still have to text my parents to make sure it's okay with them. There's really nothing that's different. I have the same hair, I'm the same height, I look the same, and I even have the same boyfriend. The difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is that I've learned to be more social and hopefully I'm a little less awkward. Freshman me had hair that looked like the protagonist of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and now it looks slightly better. I'm also a lot more confident on a more serious note. The difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is no braces and a little more body fat. <laughs> I'm a lot more outgoing than I was. I did not have a lot of friends freshman year, um, but I've got some really awesome friends now. And I grew a little bit, and I cut my hair. Um, and I hope I'm smarter. <laughs> I think I'm ready for college. Well, the difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior is as a freshman, I was very uptight and now I'm e I've learned to relax and just go with the flow. Um, the one difference between me as a freshman and me as a senior, I think I'm grown up now, I think. The difference between me as a senior and me as a freshman is that I've learned how to prioritize my procrastination and to not stress over little things, and my eyebrows have gotten a lot better. <laughs> I feel that one of the biggest differences between me as a freshman and me as a senior is that I talk more because I'm more comfortable with other people than I was before. One thing that no one would know about me is that I have a triple citizenship for Pakistan, Canada, and America. One thing that not too many people know about me is that I have really wide feet. The shoes that I'm wearing right now have splits in the side because I stretch them out too much. Uh, the one thing that no one would know about me unless I told them is that I am Egyptian and I can write from right to left. One thing that no one would know about me unless I told them would be that I can flex my eyes. Uh, the one thing that nobody would know about me unless I told them is that I can lick my elbow. One thing that no one would know about me unless I told them was that I'm actually smart. Everyone thinks I'm dumb. <laughs> if I could say one thing to my parents, I would thank them for all the time that they've put in to coming and seeing all my band events, and I would thank them for always being there for me, even when I was a brat. Thank you both for helping me study for all of my tests, even though you almost never knew any of the material you were helping me study. I would just say thank you for being so strict about my grades, and just thank you for being there whenever I needed support. Thank you for encouraging me to strive for greatness. Uh, thank you for always leading by example. And thank you for teaching me to enjoy life while doing it. Uh, I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you for being there for all the mental breakdowns and all the craziness that comes with keeping your grades up, because there were plenty of them. If I could say one thing to my parents, it would just be thank you for loving me through the countless annoying nights that I cried about a test that I ended up acing the next day. The one thing I would say to my parents is that I love them and I would want to thank them for all that they've done for me. Not for anything in particular, because that'd be too hard to list out. What I would say to my parents is thanks for pushing me and um, keeping me going when I didn't want to sometimes. If I could say one thing to my parents, it would just be thank you. I owe everything to them. They've given me everything. They've always been there for me. And sometimes they've been my biggest supporters and sometimes my biggest adversaries. But thank you. I love you. I would tell my parents thank you for traveling from Pakistan to Canada to America for trying to help me find the best education, and I hope today I'm exactly what you hoped for. If I could say one thing to my parents, I'd say thank you for always supporting me and encouraging me to do my best, but not pushing me to get the straight A's, just to do my best. One thing that I would say to my parents is that I love you and thank you for always supporting me. Mom, Dad, thank you for being my essay editors and packing my lunch since kindergarten, but most importantly, thank you for being a constant support. If I could say one thing to my parents, it would be thank you for putting up with me and you're welcome for being your most drama-free child. One thing that I want to say to my parents is um, thank you 
for leaving your life behind and your jobs to come to the United States and um, secure me a good education. Shukran. If I could say one thing to my parents, it would be thank you for loving me um, unconditionally all the time and always wanting me to be the best that I could and supporting me in everything I did. I love you guys. I think the biggest advice to the underclassmen would just be to stay true to yourself because you're going to go through a lot of changes these next couple of years. Well, a piece of advice that I would give to an underclassman would be to just find a balance. Like, don't spend every weekend studying and stressing yourself out, but also don't spend every weekend partying. A piece of advice that I would give to freshmen is to appreciate the teachers that take the time to invest in you. One advice I would give to underclassmen is to make good connections with your teachers because they basically become your second parents. Shout out to Ms. McDowell for the beanbag. The one thing I would advise underclassmen and freshmen to do is not worry too much about their grade because as long as you put in the effort it's going to turn out okay. One thing I would say to underclassmen is if you're a BCA go ahead and start your capstone paper now. If I could tell underclassmen one thing I would tell them to get involved with as many organizations as possible and to study as much as possible. What I want to tell underclassmen is that you can get away with procrastination sometimes but sometimes you can't so just know your boundaries basically. Um, if I could give one piece of advice to underclassmen, I would tell them to come to school. I've heard it helps. I wouldn't know. My advice to underclassmen would be to not focus so much on being a certain type of person in high school and focus on being the best kind of you you can be. The one thing that I want to say to every freshman out there is do not give up. The one piece of advice that I would give to underclassmen is to find that balance between academics and a social life. I never missed out on a social event because of my schoolwork, but don't count on sleeping because you can't have all three. My first memory of Blackman would probably be going to my older sister's band concerts, and my brother and I would bring pencils so that we could draw on the band programs. My first memory at Blackman was probably cheering at the ESPN game against Oakland, hashtag go place and having a tan line from my cheer uniform for about six months. My first memory of BHS was one of my first days at band camp when I showed up and 90% of the senior boys were wearing girls Nike, Nike running shorts. It was bad. My first memory at Blackburn High School was actually my first day as a freshman. I was leaving and I was still scared and this guy held the door for me and then his girlfriend started yelling at him and screaming at him for holding the door for me and she broke up with them on the spot and said thanks, so. <laughs> my first memory at Blackman was, I don't know how old I was, but I went to a football game with my dad. And I just remember looking at, looking around, looking at all these big high school people, and some of them had their shirts off, painted up, some of them were just regular high school people. But I was just looking around, I remember feeling intimidated, feeling like these were the most grown people ever. And I was just a little kid. And then now it feels like I'm that same little kid, I'm just in their shoes now. My first memory at BHS would probably be walking down the hallways at freshman orientation and being completely confused and wanting to cry. So my first memory of Blackman High School would have to be freshman orientation and I was so confused on why we have alphabetical halls that aren't in alphabetical order. <laughs> uh, my first memory in Blackman is that during my first uh, day of schools, I was just following a group of people because I didn't know where to go and I ended up in an empty hallway all by myself. My first memory of Blackman High School is coming for freshman orientation and being scared to death that I was going to be lost every day. So my first memory of Blackman would probably be freshman orientation when I got dragged in to the swing club and they made me dance with like all these random people and I did not like it. <laughs> My first memory of Blackman High School is watching the lip dubs. I moved right before my freshman year started and I knew I would be attending Blackman, so my sister and I looked up everything about the school we could. We did some very deep internet research and we came up with the lip dub videos. So that's how we got our first tour of the school miles away. Uh, I would say that Blackman pride means a sense of community surrounding everything having to do with Blackman. I think that whether it's in athletics, academics, or just things that happen in the community, I think that the Blackman community is committed to holding itself up through thick and thin. To me, Blackman Pride means making memories with some of my closest friends. It sure is good to be a Blackman Blaze. Blackman Pride means to me being kind and doing your best and taking pride in your work. 
Black Men Pride means to me, follow us on YouTube at BSBN32 or follow us on Twitter. Have a great day. We are Black Men. To me, Black Men Pride means that I come here and I try my best and I try to be kind to everybody so that everybody can enjoy their experience here, not just me. Black Men Pride means saying go blaze after you do everything, even if it doesn't warrant a go blaze. When I think of Black Men Pride, I remember praying over a student who had recently lost his mom. I remember praying and supporting um, Baylor Bramble and his family, um, a student who went to Siegel and mourning the loss over fellow classmates and just having the students at Blackman just really come together to support one another. Well, to me, Blackman Pride means just taking advantage of every opportunity that the school has to offer. You know, just cheering on sports teams and being involved in every way that you can. To me, Blackman Pride means being able to be proud of yourself and your accomplishments and having a very strong family to share your successes with. So Black Men Pride means that I could wear the Black Men behind my jersey every single volleyball game night and wear it with pride. Black Men Pride means me striving for excellence in both athletics and academics because I think we do really well in both. To be a valedictorian at Black Men High School means that I have gotten no sleep for four years, but in return I have a wealth of memories and achievements that I can look back and be proud on. What it means to be valedictorian is to be one of the 17 of our class who valued a number over everything else. Well, for one, uh, being a valedictorian at Blackman High School just means stressing out 24-7. But it also, it's such an honor. It shows all of the accomplishments that I've made over the past four years. Being a valedictorian at BHS means that I am an overachiever and have been on edge about my GPA for four years. Being a valedictorian means that every sleepless night doing homework or studying, every cup of coffee it took for me to get through the day, and the dark circles under my eyes, it validates everything. To be a valedictorian at Blackman, it means that all the work and all the hours I've put in has really paid off, and everyone who's helped me and supported me, I feel like it's sort of our little victory and reward for it. So. What it means to be a valedictorian of black men is to be in a group of people that have all like worked hard together in different aspects of high school and you know succeeding at the end. Being a valedictorian means to me that I've tried my best and kept my grades up and still participated in extracurricular activities. Being the BHS valedictorian means that I've accomplished a goal that I've had since elementary school because I remember coming home in fifth grade after I made a B and I cried because I thought I would never be valedictorian but it's worked out. To be a valedictorian at Blackman High School means that I could be a student athlete, be in the Collegiate Academy, and just represent a bunch of people. Uh, to be a valedictorian at Blackman is just a sense of resolution. I remember my freshman year when I found out what a valedictorian was, I remember looking in the agenda and copying down all the requirements onto the sheet of paper and I put it in the front of my binder and I thought to myself that I would look at that paper every day and it would remind me, oh I want to be a valedictorian, I should work hard in class and do my homework and study. So just really, I, I just remember wanting this all of high school and then now that I achieved it, it's just a good sense of accomplishment. Being a valedictorian at Blackman means you get to represent your school academically and show off your accomplishments. I mean, how cool is it to say there's 17 of us? Being a valedictorian at Blackman High School hopefully means that I didn't let up. I've always tried to keep myself to a high standard and have high grades and I hope I didn't slack off. Being a valedictorian is probably one of my greatest accomplishments just because it's something I've strived for ever since my sister went through high school. To me, being a BHS valedictorian means that I achieved the goal that I set for myself eighth grade year. When I saw this video at graduation, I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. So I kept to the books and I studied and I kept my 4.0 and I made it happen. Being a valedictorian at BHS means that I got always, yay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad, for your support. Um, but more so than that, it's a culmination of all of the work I've put into my academics here at Blackman. And I guess it means I was successful. That's all I got. <laughs> I didn't do that. Don't worry. Yeah, they win.
wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing we wouldn't succeed. I've been getting A's, don't start doubting on me. Trying to wake up early is a struggle for me. So don't pull up at 6 a.m. to study with me. You know how I hate it when you're cheating off me. I don't want to fail because then they diss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. I hope that my legacy outlives me. I'm going to tell my story, now start listening to me. Our plan. Our plan. We stay home, sometimes we do, yeah. The tip is high, our grades are too. We finesse, Ms. Diamond's test, A, Ness. We go down all A's, no B's, yeah, wait. I go hard on Scantron sheets, yeah, wait. School makes sure we never sleep. And still. Bad grades. It's a lot of bad grades that they wish and 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 on me. Bad grades. It's a lot of bad grades that they wish and 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 on me. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my books and my homework. I'm sorry. Formulas, I even got it tatted on me. 4.0s, we're never ever at the parties. And you know me. Turn the 92 into the 93, dog. Without Mrs. Webb, there would be no me. Imagine if I never met the broski. Our plan. Our plan. I can do this in my own A no. Caffeine keeps us up all night, yeah, night. <laughs> Three nine five six plays drive, yeah, drive. We go down all A's, no beats, no beats. I go hard on skin on sheets, hey, wait. School make sure we never sleep. And still. Bad grades. It's a lot of bad grades that they wish and they wish and they wish and they wish and they wish it on me. Bad grades. It's a lot of bad grades that they wish and they wish and they wish and they wish and they wish it on me. Woo!